excretory system of frog excretory system of frog composed by various structures so here excretory system of frog is involved with one pair of kidneys left kidney right kidney and one pair of ureters left ureter right ureter and the urinary bladder along with the cloaca cloacal aperture so these are the structures involved in the formation of total excretory system of frog first one pair of kidneys so one pair of kidneys are located in the just little posterior part of the body cavity and either side of the vertebral columns one pair of kidneys will be identified if you observe that characters they are the elongated flat dark red colored structures appeared either side of the vertebral column so on the surface of the each kidney a specific double layer membrane will be present that membrane is known as retroperitoneum hence these organs are also known as retroperitoneal organs so because they are ventral side connected by this particular character called retroperitoneum hence they are known as retroperitoneal organs and here the kidney which is composed by various characters so inside the mesonephric structures mesonephric structures are that is also known as specific sephroniferal tubules will be present are there there is the basic units of the nephrons of the excretory system of frog so that is a yeah, specific structure is there here in the posterior part of each kidney a specific duct is present that is called as ulfian duct so ulfian duct which is arises from the posterior part of each kidney and connected to the adrenal gland and ventral surface of the each kidney one pair of adrenal glands will be present so adrenal gland generally produce various hormones ureters one pair of ureters are located in the excretory system of frog so one pair of ureters here left ureter and right ureters will be present they are arise from the posterior part of each kidney and opens on to the dorsal wall of cloaca so there we can identify the structures here so that is the ureter and here in males ureter participates in the two functions so that releases urea outside as well as during the copulation process sperms also released outside so two functions are regarding with this specific character called ureters in the male reproductive system so they are also known as urno genital ducts which releases sperms as well as urine outside so that's why they are known as urino genital ducts and next it opens into the urinary bladder and here ureters opens into the urinary bladder urinary bladder is a large transparent bilobed thin elastic thin walled elastic chamber like structure and by that that enters into the next part called cloaca and the cloaca finally opens outside through a specific aperture local cloacal aperture so these are the structures in the formation of total kidney structures one pair of kidneys one pair of ureters urinary bladder cloaca and the cloacal aperture will be present and how the excretion takes place process of excretion frog excretes urea so that's why frog is also known as ureotelic animal so unwanted material or nitrogenous waste metal which is formed by the kidneys that will be eliminated in the form of urea so hence they are known as ureotelic animals so whenever the unwanted material which is formed or nitrogenous waste material which is formed by the kidneys that will be eliminated outside and whenever the substance that is necessary substance will be present in that and are essential substance present in the excretory process that will be reabsorbed into the blood and nitrogenous waste material will be is outside through the various structures and whenever the nitrogenous waste material filtered by the kidneys that pushes into the ureters and ureters receives it from there enters into the urinary bladder and whenever the urinary bladder is filled that sends the urea into the cloaca and finally releases outside through the cloacal aperture so this is the process involving the excretion of frog so that is involvement of various character like kidneys ureters urinary bladder cloaca and cloacal apertures